日本ファルコムコーポレーション Hello everybody, Sheep Vice here. Welcome back to Let's Play East One Chronicles. Last time we did some stuff in the overworld.、Uh, let's see, we got the silver sword first off. That's basically all we got.、Uh, we learned a bit more about、uh, East by having Jebba read us the books that we've collected so far. And now we're back in Rastine Mine to finish this place off.、Uh, so I figured I'd start right at the entrance. So that we can walk. Actually, I'm not even going the right way.、Um, so we can walk to where we need to go next. <laughs> There we go, that's where I wanted to go. Alright. Go away, please. Not want anything to do with you. Oh, they only do seven damage now, so that's nicer. Alright, so we explored the first two floors of this place before. This time we're gonna head on to the third and final floor. And, uh, ran into the staircase by accident a couple times. But,、uh, it's very close by. You just go around this little wall here, and it's just right below the other stairs. So, now we're on a new floor.、Uh, now, these Chalaskins. What they're called. I want to grind up to the 10th and final level on these guys.、Uh, there are some other enemies in this room, but these ones in particular,、uh, they only do one damage, so that's why I'm going to choose to grind it off them. I do have an extra heal potion that I can use if I do get low on health. And of course, we also have the heal ring where we can just sit by for a little bit. See, these other guys do 10 health. They're even. Oops. They're even different enemies in this place that do even more than 10. So, that's why I like the Chalaskins. They're a bit more timid. Alright, we're back.、Uh, made it to level 10. Did not take long at all. Only about 4 minutes, including what I showed.、Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and use this heal potion. Alright. Oh, hello. Now, we just need to make our way through this last passage of Rasting Mine.、Um, I believe there's nothing up there, so don't worry about that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is where we want to go, where this guy is standing right in front of. Now, these guys are really fast, so、uh, just watch out for that. Yeah. They are very fast. They do quite a bit of damage, even though we're at max level. So, this is definitely important to come and get. As it is the final key in the game, the Darm Key. And as you can imagine, it would help us out with Darm Tower later. Alright, so. This guy is blocking the path again. Unfortunately, he's facing away, so I can just kill him while he's not even looking. Okay, so there should be one more treasure chest around here. Around this way somewhere. Here it is. It's another heal potion, that's why I decided to just go ahead and use that other one I had. I'll go ahead and save that one for the final area. So, I'll probably need it at some point during that. Although, there is a lot of places where you can easily use the heal ring, but I guess if I'm feeling impatient, that always works too. Alright, we're getting to the end here. Just need to keep following the path. And there's gonna be more of these fast guys, so just be careful of them. Uh, don't worry about health getting too low. We have a good spot to go ahead and heal up coming up. And it's right here. Oh, we need the Dharm Key to open this. I forget exactly what you need it for. 
But this is the boss room, but it doesn't look like there's any boss here. <sighs> so I'm gonna take the time to use the heal ring to heal up to max. Uh, I might decide to leave that little healing bit in, because that's the first time we've heard the Rota Tree song in, uh, fully. So anyway, there's a very obvious treasure chest right here that we unfortunately have to open. I don't want to do this. Here we go. Okay, we can do this. Maybe. Alright. This is Vagolian. He is a bat-like creature that splits into mini bats. Basically he's going to split off and while he's split off you cannot hit him at all. Um, it's very hard not to get hit. But basically um, just want to keep running around the perimeter of the room and his bats will have like two sort of different formations. One where they're spread out a lot, and another one where they're all clenched together like they are right now. Uh, it's obviously easier to dodge them if they're all bunched together, so... Usually if you stand in the corner of the room, right after he transforms into his bats, they'll usually bunch together. Uh, it doesn't always do this, so that's unfortunate. And I am taking way too many hits. Uh, I hate when he transforms in the middle of the room. You're usually taking some hits there after he gets back to bat. I'm doing terribly. Hopefully after I stop talking, I'll do better. I wouldn't have been paying attention that time. I mean, I think I've said everything I can about Vagolian, really. Ah, crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to make it this time. Well, basically, he takes... You each can take the same number of hits from each other, so it's whoever can kill the other fast first. So, hopefully I can do better when I'm not talking, and we'll see how this goes. Because this is probably the hardest boss in the game.
Oh man. I have this one. Come on. This one's gonna be close. Like, oh crap! Oh no! Just has two hits left. Come on. Oh, he only had one hit! Yes! Oh. Thank goodness. That took a while. Actually, 30 minutes. That wasn't too bad. I was expecting two hours. Oh. We did it. Beat Vagolian. Now I'm going to save right away. Oh. Thank goodness. So, now that we beat him, this treasure chest reappears, and it's not trapped this time. We get the third Book of the East. Uh, this one... Is this one by Priest Dabby, if I remember correctly? I don't remember. As you can see, there's this weird passageway that doesn't really seem to do much. Well, I'm sure it'll never be important. So, uh... Well, I got a wing, so we can go ahead and use that to get back to Manea. Don't need any more levels. <laughs> also did get a mirror at Manea. I was gonna show it off on the way through the Rasting Mine, but I can probably show it off later. Like I mentioned way back at the beginning, it's not super helpful. Because while it does freeze enemies, it only does it for a short while, so... Alright, so now we have to get back to Zepic Village and have Jebba read this book that we've gotten for us. And let's see what it says. Alright, just gotta make our way to Jebba's house. Hello there. See what's written in this one. Well, Sarah did tell us to go there, so she probably knew it was there. Who attacked? Why would Clary have been the cause? I did say he's bringing evil from all over the place, huh? Well, it seems like, uh, people of Asteria did not, uh, take that into heed. Taking all the silver for themselves. Oh, six. Well, there were six priests, so... That makes sense. And the last three are in Darm Tower, apparently. Okay, then. Hmm. I thought we were just here for a quick adventure, but apparently we're supposed to save the world. What's that? Well, we'll try. Okay then. So, there's only one place to head, and that's the Darm Tower. So, in the next episode, of East One Chronicles. We'll go ahead and talk to Goben and see about getting into Darm Tower. So I'll see you in the next episode.